Jonathan, relax. The important team. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are taking a risk with this girl. I know that I've been 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 away from YouTube but remember guys I'm a teacher so um, November has been so 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 hectic I had to mark I had to submit I had to complete my thesis but please don't get me wrong I can't graduate okay I'm done with my thesis I'm still waiting for corrections and to hear what my supervisor has to say <laughs> if they graduate yay if not at least but I completed it anyways today it's Thursday and I am attending an event at Johannesburg, Epson, Epson event. So, Johannes, this is my first paid partnership event that I'm attending. Correct if you like already. Yo! Bona! Season A. It looks not good. It looks not nice. Okay, let me not be long. Eh? I'm just going to drop my kids to school and then we're driving straight to Johannesburg. I'm, I won't be alone. I'll be with 50M. So, Johannes, I'll definitely catch you guys when I get there. It's only two hours. Um, to drive to Johannesburg and right now it's seven o'clock. Hopefully can I need to get to Johannesburg because the event starts at 10 But I'll show you guys my gorgeous outfit later on <laughs> I love you honeys. Bye Must watch my channel ne? and subscribe to my channel YouTube. Yeah, boo. Are you subscribing? Hey, and this is so this is our first stop. We are, yes, please do it now because you're going to forget. All right, okay,
All right. So this is our first stop. Um, Fifi just went to buy water and then we had to fill in some petrol because your girl, I got not a hundred. K120 upwards. Not that I'm proud of it, but yeah, that's what has been happening. Mugai, what a subscriber channel in Yak. He's so sweet. Must I also subscribe to your channel? Okay. Mm, let's see. Fifi. Fifi air. Smart. You are. Tell it. And subscribe to it. So, yeah, how many minutes left before we get there? Um, one hour. One hour. <laughs> I hope we make it on time. So, we're driving to Branston. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys when we get there. So, do you want to say hi, bye to my people? Yeah. You want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> something like heart. Heart, ne? Yes. Shopping and knees. Yo, honeys, I cannot believe myself. It's rare a lane in the five. Yo, react. I'm going to get next for sweater. All right. <laughs> we are five minutes away. I'll catch you guys when we get there. Bye. You honeys, we are finally here. How do you feel, Mujak? Honey, honey, Silendi. I feel like singing Sangena Sangena Iyo Sangena Paga Sangena 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 So you're actually going to be in emergency especially as it's happening right now but just how well placed how capacitated are schools to take that on considering again the demands on schools are increasing and the reality as well as funding to schools is decreasing and um, funding particularly to basic education has seen quite a significant decline over the last couple of years so when we say schools are a crucial part of teaching climate literacy to kids, uh, teachers are crucial to that, uh, to that work, what are some of the challenges, or some of the factors 
that would impact our ability to do that well? Yeah, um, I, I really do think that what is currently existing within the syllabus, the curriculum, and what we teach children about climate change or about the environment is already enough. Um, I mean, I teach business studies, I've got friends that teach geography, life sciences, electrical technology, and every part of our syllabus does touch on environmental uh, sustainability. Um, in life orientation particularly, um, it's, a, it's a main topic, all the way from grade four, all the way to grade 12. And again, the challenges are then that a subject like life orientation is not taken seriously. Universities, colleges, wherever a child wants to apply for university to further their career or to develop, subjects like that aren't being taken seriously. Um, as opposed to when I teach my business studies learners, I've got six les lessons with them, but for life orientation where I could teach about climate change, mental health, and all these other different injustices in the world, I'm then given less of a time. So then my limbs are cut, right? And then it moves on to and I guess it's a societal stigma that subjects like, like, like life orientation aren't taken seriously. And then the second thing is that um, schools, or rather school management teams, aren't hiring qualified people to teach the subjects. Um, so you find that a lot of the life orientation teachers that we have, that's actually a maths guy um, who's just going to teach life orientation because we need a fella. We need to make sure that he we maximize his time at school. So then we're taken away from knowledgeable people, or rather taking opportunities from knowledgeable people who are able to sort of, um, you know, educate learners about this sort of information. Because I can, I can imagine again, if you wanted to teach any learner about any topic, you also don't have that confidence as an educator. And if you don't have the confidence, then you won't teach the subjects, or the topic rather, altogether. And however, I really think that schools need to be more creative. I think the idea of um, or rather, just in communities altogether. I think everybody, or rather the idea of school perpetuates the idea that education can only take place in a school environment. And I disagree fully. I think that education can take place in churches and mosques. Uh, we're being educated right now. Um, and instead of trying to influence what is out there in the CAPS curriculum and what is taught in schools, I think we can all design a program that will allow for people to learn in different ways uh, about climate change. What a successful event. It was so nice, it's so informative. Um, I've learned so much, I don't want to lie. So right now it's lunch time. And then after here we're heading home straight, right? Yeah. Alright. So I'm with PPM. I know you guys haven't seen her in a while. So regular ones in PPM. Hi my honeys. Hi my honeys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you guys my plate now. It's mainly um, vegetarian food. Uh, non vegetarian. <laughs> non baby girl. I, I, was, pu I was pulling your leg. What I wanted you to comment. It's like I'm not a vegetarian guy, so it's non vegetarian food. But what I loved about this event is that um, before we came here, before we came here, they actually asked us what would we prefer. So we told them that we're not vegetarians. So yeah, they actually catered us, and we really appreciate that. So let's indulge, honey. Let's indulge. <laughs> She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down. You should lie on me, keep your minds on me, on try, baby. 
baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all Hey ladies, so the event was such a success. I don't want to lie. Very informative. I'm happy with everything. Right now, we are driving to Northwest. It's what time is it? Mm, it's actually two o'clock, and it takes me two and a half hours to get to the legs up if I'm driving at a normal speed. But <laughs> when it came here, but I don't want to look at the face. Oh. We came here at the and the next thing you want to tell them what happened. <laughs> Before money this, rather I show you guys. Take it to your speed. But then let me tell you guys, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't. It wasn't because I was driving with hundred and it was an eighty zone. Mari, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm missing. <laughs> but anyways, right now I'm gonna call auntie to go fetch the kids because I don't think I'm gonna make it on time. But if I do, then um I'll go fetch them. So what I'm gonna tell her um if it gets half past four, so I can feed her, and then she can go fetch them. But then if I arrive before half past four, I will go and fetch them. Alright, honeys. That's all from me. I'll probably catch you guys when Friday, ne? When we attend um teacher's closing party yeah so i'll probably catch you guys on Three friday days later It's the 1st of December and um, instead I drove to Portable to drop my kids at my parents' house. I also did my heavy, which I feel that it's quite pretty. What do you think, Tepo? Yeah, I like it. Yes. It's nice. <laughs> and I'm with my friend here. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Barne. They also call me Tepo from from the school. So. Yes, that's his son named Tepo. But then I call him Barneki, Barne, you know. He's my closest friend, the coolest of them all. So today, what are we celebrating? Uh, having fun. Mm -hmm, we're having fun. It's um, the last day the Matrix are writing Africa, so it's the last paper today. And we're going to Rio Casino. It's closing day, all the teachers will be there, and we are looking so pretty, guys. I'll show you guys our outfits later on. So, right now, um, I'm just gonna finish capturing some marks, and then at 9 o'clock, we are leaving. We're going to Rio Casino, and we'll definitely see you there. Say bye to my people. Bye, guys. Bye. You guys, who busy? Who busy? Banana ba ail, banana ba na ready. This side of banana ba installer. Listen, who busy? Banana ba, banana ba busy, ba busy. Koto ko na mo na siya. It's gonna be so loud. I got to be lamak. I'll show you. I'll show you guys our outfits. I don't know what's going on with my voice, but yeah. Uh -uh, I'll never show them that. <laughs> I will never.
12 or 6? To me, take 12. 12. Hey, yeah. That's not special. Mm. You're saving money. A lot. Let's go, babe. Leave ya. with my voice but I uh, say the heat outside I cannot take it so right now I'm in the bathroom but I'm just accompanying EVM obviously EVM <laughs> Kimutua after every bottle she goes to the bathroom I think she has a bladder problem Maki do you have a bladder problem no <laughs> I'm telling them after every two bottles you go to the bathroom <laughs> We are at Rio Casino and the lighting in this bathroom is amazing. Yes. Oh, she's on her phone. Also, I'm not gonna drink this water anymore because obviously germs in the bathroom. I'm not gonna drink it. I just wish I could refresh a little bit. The reason why I don't even have makeup on is because guys, I feel like it's super hot. I feel such a shame. But I think I'm just gonna wash my face and then the fun continues. Bye! Bye! morning my honeys so i just finished editing this vlog and i realized that i don't have um a closing for this vlog and that's unlike me i can't just leave without saying bye honeys <laughs>
so this is where i'm gonna close this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it was all over the place but yeah at least i took you guys everywhere that i went i hope you guys really enjoyed it and i'll definitely see you in my next one please don't forget to comment subscribe and obviously please don't forget to like and i'll definitely see you in my next one bye my knees bye True, yeah. it's all